Hi everyone. Right, I've got a couple of these flowers that somebody's made me. Um, and although I love them, um, I want to alter one of them. So I've taken it apart. Um, I've got the modelling paste. Uh, and right now I'm just going to find my... Now, what have I done with it? I don't know. Uh, here we are. Which one do I want? That one or this one? This one, I think. I'm just taking the uh, paste, which is the artist spackle, um, and I'm going to spread it on the petals. Now, you can do this with any flowers. They can be paper, they can be um, material, whatever it is you want them to be, it doesn't matter. I'm just kind of like scrape it on and scrape it off. It's just going to give it a little bit of texture. Oh, he's underneath me. I'm just filming, Ray. I'm sorry. It's all right. Right, again, like I say, just... I only want a little bit of uh, this on. It's just enough to give it a different texture. Now, I do have another video where I show you how to do these flowers. Uh, slightly different to this one, but I do show you how to alter them. Because there's lots of ways you can alter a flower. Um, I just take it off there. And keep adding little bits. Because right now, as you can see, it's quite floppy and all over the place. But I want to spruce mine up a bit for a project. Or tart it up, that's what I like to say I'm going to tart it up not very professional but I don't care so like I say I'm just adding touches of this paste and uh, we'll see where we get on from there Because we do have to dry it as well. It uh, dries pretty quick on its own. There we go, I'll scrape some of that off, that's a little bit thick on there. I'll do that in a minute. Now, we've got that right. See, this has already got like a ridge on it, can you see that? So that'll just help with the pattern and the textured look when it's done.
I think we've uh, finished that. There we go. Just put the lid on that because it does dry pretty quick. Will you, dogs, move? They get everywhere. <laughs> they get everywhere. They're under my feet. Okay. Pop that back. Now, what I've got to do is to dry them off. So I'm just going to scrub my hands of that and uh, find my spike here we are boys you have to move please well, let's dry these off Hope you can uh, see this. Sorry if you can't. I'm just drying them off. Now it is a synthetic material that they're made from and uh, will melt. Whoops a daisy. We don't want that to happen. right so what I'm going to do now is they're not quite dry but um, we can move on to the next stage and that is I'm going to colour them and then dry them off again um, and I'm using the colours that I used yesterday um, only because they're really nice colours. So I'll just pop these into the tray. I can do that, then it's that, then that. Just get them in order. That one. Right, so now we've got them like that. I hope you can, I might just lift the camera up a little bit, that's it. Uh, and like I say, we're doing the colours from yesterday. So this one is the Meadow Lush, and like I say, these will be coming in shortly. And then I'm going to use the spritzing ink, which is the blue, a nice metallic blue. I like the way the colours shine through. And the last one is this one, the Adirondack colour wash, which is the butterscotch, one of my all-time favourites. Look at that! Look, look at that! Wow, those colours are fab. I like them dark. 
And we're coming up to Halloween. Don't worry about the ink in the bottom. None of that will get wasted. Isn't that fab? Fab colours. Hmm. Right, what I'm going to do is put my spike back. And where are we? And just get some tweezers, methinks. Yeah, I don't want them to run too much to get them out very quick. Beautiful colours on them. Look at that. Like that. Great. And that's the top one. Look at that colour. And the best thing to do with something like that, oops, is uh, add a touch, just a touch. And I can move my bits around. Why won't that go? Oh, it's caught on that unit, you silly old. Move that around. Find my water bottle. Spray the inks with water. Like that. Don't worry about that. I'm not fussed. Ah! <laughs> and then just let them drain and then pop that back in the bottle <laughs> it helps with the colour so I'm just going to move that down there for a minute now we're just going to dry this off and because of the paste um, it just gives it lots of texture Lots and lots of texture. But it soaks in the colours as well. Now I'm doing it till it bubbles because when you make it bubble it gives it added texture and There we go I think that's about right. Now I've got the glue gun on. Uh, and now what I'm going to do is to put this together. So we're going to start off with the larger ones. Oh, glue sticks, glue sticks. Right. And we need to alternate them. I hope you can see this. And just keep layering. Can you hear the dog squeak? Squeak, squeak! That's all they're doing with that blooming toys he's bought. They were alright to start with, I could stand them. <laughs> now they're getting on my nerves. I want to throttle Raymondo. Right, 
Let me just turn that one round a bit. I'm not pressing them down just yet. I'm going to do that shortly. This is quite a full flower. I'll just turn that off so I don't waste that. And then what I'm going to do is just to press that down in the centre and fluff that up. Okay, like that. It's a non-stick on there, on the handle, so that doesn't matter. Um, and I think, yeah... We might put the uh, centre thing back in. I like that, so I think we will. And this was the original bead that was in the centre of it. And there you go, you've got yourself a textured flower. And although it's a lot different to... Um, the first one, which is what it was originally, on a, you know, a canvas of some sort or a mixed media project, that would look just as stunning, but it's gone from that to that. Now, you could do this with any colour. I just chose the colours because I had them yesterday, that's all, I hadn't put them away. But uh, as you can see, it's so different and it's just plain. So I hope that's helped you. Thanks for watching. Take care and I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye for now.